WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to your 1 p.m. update. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. Hope everybody out there is having a great day. Currently, we've got the Dow up 178 points, S&P's up 17, NASDAQ up 50, so about three quarters of a percent. Uh, the Russell 2000 up one and three tenths percent. It's up 16 points out there. We've had a little bit of rocking and rolling over the course of the last half hour. Let's go take a look at that. Supposedly, I, mean, I, I was away from my desk for just a brief few minutes out there maybe five maybe ten cooking some uh, lunch and then i uh, came back to sit down in front of my computer and said what in the sam heck just happened so apparently it was uh, part of the uh, rendezvous if that's a pr proper pronunciation or what have you of um of the uh, drug and something to do with their trial but here's what uh, here's what took place on that move to the downside just just so you know all price did was pull back the test support so we take a look at support. Here is the ES Mini. And let me just update this chart out here real quickly. And so support is where price most recently broke out. We do that. We use the we use our nines. Just coincidentally, I was born on September 9th, so no wonder I love the nines out here. So we take a look at our TD9 count pattern out here. Generated a support uh, level at 27.84. All price did during that move to the downside was, uh, in essence, test that. It didn't even get all the way down there. The NQ did. So let me pull over the NQ chart out here just so you can see that. Now, these are going to be important levels to watch throughout the day. Um, in order for markets to change their trend, you first have to see charts breaking through support. Now, you can use whatever time frame you want. I like a 30-minute time frame as the shortest time frame to make any kind of decision out here. And if you take a look at the NQ, what you're going to see is price pushed down right to its breakout level of support. Now, that's a beautiful thing, 86, 26, 25. Look, in the old days when I first uh, was taught technical analysis, at that stage, it was really all about the swing points. And so I would have told you originally that uh, support in the NQ would have been much lower than it was out there. It would have been down, uh, I don't know, about 85, 70, something like that. But no, understand the power of nine, an amazing tool. So stay tuned for the uh, next hour. We'll uh, certainly take a look at that and anything else that you'd like. Uh, if you're off to uh, have a uh, wonderful today's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. Then have a terrific Thursday and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, folks.